every generation of the Nissan Sentra since the early 1990s has sprouted a sporty variant. Most of these hotted up small cars have worn the SCR badge, a name that earned a fair share of credibility after the B13 generation Sentra SCR captured enthusiasts' hearts, and appeared more than once on C-DS10 best cars list, thanks to its high fine per dollar ratio. Now in the midst of pumping up its Nismo performance arm, Nissan has put that name on the latest Sentra performance variant. It helps make a connection among all of Nissan S performance-oriented offerings, comprising the Jeep Nismo and Nismo RS, the 370Z Nismo, and the top dog, 600 horsepower GTR Nismo. But the Sentra Nismo is not a racetrack slaying, high-performance beast. Far from it, in fact. Given that it has just 188 horsepower and 177 pounds to put up toward from a 1.6-liter turbocharged four-cylinder, that test less than was offered in the last Sentra CR, available from 2007-2012, which had 200 horsepower and 180 pounds to put up toward from a 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine. It has also far short of the Volkswagen GTI, 210 or 220 horsepower, the Ford Focus ST, 252 horsepower, and the Subaru WRX, 268 horsepower. Of course, power isn't the everything, particularly considering the Centronismo S estimated starting price of less than $25,000. After all, cars like the 197 horsepower Ford Fiesta ST prove that outright speed is far from the sole measure of car as fun factor. To that end, Nismo went to work on the Sentra S chassis. Compared with the identically powered Sentra SR Turbo, the Nismo has a slightly lower rod height, stiffer springs and retuned dampers, additional structural bracing, and 1 inch larger wheels shod with 215 45 R18 ultra high performance all season tires. Summer tires are available as a dealer installed option. After a quick drive around Los Angeles in the Sentra Nismo, we were pretty convinced that it won't key unseat our current favorites such as the GTI. But that's not to say there is nothing to like about the Nismo. The little 1.6-liter engine is zesty enough once on the boil, there is some turbo lag down low in the rev range, but the 6-speed manual has relatively short gearing that makes it easy to keep the engine in the meat of its torque curve. There is also a continuously variable automatic transmission available as a no-cost option. We didn't get the chance to drive a Sentra so equipped, but we can safely say we did pass on that transmission. We do wish Nismo had gone a bit further with the chassis weeks. Turn and could be sharper, and steering feel is nothing to write home about. The Nismo S suspension is noticeably stiffer than that of lesser Sentris, but its tuning seems to negatively impact ride quality more than it improves handling prowess. The lightness of controls the steering, shifter, and clutch combine to make the Sentro feel possible even at a sedate pace, but push harder and its economy car routes become all too obvious. And therein lies the key issue with the Sentra Nismo, underneath. It is still a Sentra, a car that placed a distant last in our most recent small sedan comparison. The shortcomings of the Sentra's basic package including its cheap feeling interior and gawky exterior proportions mostly carry over, although the Nismo version has great sport seats, aggressive body kit, and attractive wheels help to mitigate those concerns. The zippy engine and sharper chassis certainly improve the Sentra's dynamics. But given the lackluster starting point, this supposedly motorsports-inspired sedan, as Nissan calls it, only ends up approaching the driving pleasure available in a mainstream Honda Civic 1.5T or Mazda 3 2.5-liter. So the sportiest Sentra no s and live up to the promise of its performance ambitions, merely managing to get into the conversation with the rest of the compact herd to say nothing of the upper echelon sport compacts, compacts.